Hey crafty friends, it's Elizabeth from BB's Butterfly and I have a fun little project for you today. Um, I was playing around making some cards and I came up with this really awesome technique. Um, just goofing off playing around with some napkins and um, some of my glimmer sprays and things like that. Um, and, but I wanted to share with you kind of how I came up with this and I don't know if you can see the texture, but there we go. It is really, really fun. Um, these look like, you know, vintage cards. Um, and I thought they would be fun for, you know, Mother's Day or Father's Day or something like that. Um, so, and here's the other one that I did. If I can get the light right to show you the texture. Um, they're just really fun. So, um, I'm going to show you how to make these and I'm probably going to do another couple for, um, a Father's Day card and, um, just show you how I did it. So what I have is, um, I bought this set of napkins and I don't know what I did with the package, but, um, these are just blue flowers and some butterflies and then the one I'm gonna do for Father's Day I guess it could be for a birthday or something like that too but I have this napkin um, and these cards are uh, four and a half by five and a quarter I believe or maybe they're four and a quarter by five and a half I don't remember anyway they're you know uh, I think they're a2 size um, so First things first is to get your paper cut. And I'm using, um, this is just some fairly inexpensive, lightweight cardstock um, that I will adhere to um, the card base. And these are, see this brand, I got it at, or maybe it was Walmart. Um, Here we go. It's the Coordinations brand cardstock. Um, and this is it's a 12 by 12 made by Darcy smooth texture cardstock. And it's really super um, lightweight. I think it's 65 pound cardstock, um, but it's really, really super smooth. Not that that matters because we're gonna give it some texture anyway, but this is, in case you wanted to know, this is what I used. Um, and the first thing you're going to do is take your napkin apart. Most napkins have two, maybe even three layers. Um, and these, I think I got it Tuesday morning. Um, you just have to peel them apart so that you're left with your pattern and then you can save this because you can use it just like you would tissue paper and stamp on it and I'll show you a project like that one day um, but not today so the next thing you're gonna need to do is cut your um, napkin so that you have the pieces that you want to use those. Don't cut this one. I didn't cut that in the middle, but that's okay. Set that aside. So I'll do two of the butterflies and two of the crowns. Um, and I think actually with the crowns, I'm going to cut off the border. And you can save that and use it, you know, I may actually use it on the top and the bottom of the card panel.
Okay. So there's the napkin pieces, just like that. And they'll sit, you know, something like, something like that. Maybe I'll just do one of each, just for time's sake. So what you want to know is that these napkin pieces are smaller than your card um, panel, the design panel that goes on your card base. So you have a couple of options. You can um, make your card smaller. You can leave the the white at the top and the bottom, or you can do something like this, which is basically use another piece, which I think I will do on this one. So that it's fully framed out. And this one, I'm gonna cut this piece off and use it, um, I'll probably scoot this down like this and use this piece across the top. Or you can use another napkin. Either way, it doesn't really matter. So I'm probably gonna do something like that. That looks pretty good. Okay, <clears throat> and what I'm using for glue is the um, Liquitex Basics Gloss Gel Medium. Um, got this one at Hobby Lobby. I know you can also buy it at Walmart. Um, I also have this one, which is the Simply Acrylic, which is um, the Walmart brand. Um, they're both about $9, but if you notice, the um, Walmart one is 250 milliliters and I think it was nine dollars this one is um, 200 so you know half a dozen one six of the other six of one half a dozen of the other however you say that anyway so how I do this is I just kind of squirt a big blob on my craft mat and get a paintbrush I know some people use the um, foam brushes, but I find the foam to be a little bit hard and it can rip your um, tissue. So I just use a, a paintbrush. And what I do first is I just take a big glob and spread it all over pretty thick, all over the whole piece of cardstock. Just like this. You have to work kind of fast because this stuff dries pretty quickly. Do you do that? And lay your tissue pieces down and put a coat over the top just to make sure it's stuck. And then finish it out like that. And I'm not terribly concerned that there are some wrinkles in here. Um, it doesn't matter because we're going to add some texture to it anyway. So not a big deal. Okay. So there's that one. And we'll do the other one. Now because I want to use the, the little border pieces, I'm going to actually lay the big piece down first and lay the border pieces over it. So I'm just kind of halfway centering it. I 
and making sure I get the edges put down and get my border piece on like so. Need some more. Need some more medium. Okay. You want to get this the top, you know, coated pretty well because of what we're gonna do to it. All right, and then I'm gonna stick this one on here. And now I'm going to um, use my uh, gloss glaze, um, the my glimmer mist and glimmer glaze dupe. I have the glimmer, not glimmer mist. Glimmer, whatever, Glimmer Glam, that's what it is. And I'm using, on on this one, I'm going to use the Champagne Coffee Color Glimmer Glam with the glitter. I don't know if you can see the glitter. Um, I'm going to use this one on the crown card. So there's that one and I think since I already have the other cards um, that I made with I used the blue glimmer glaze on this one actually no it was actually the the tattered angels glimmer glitter glam on this one but I think I'm gonna use this cream colored one this time And I'm just, you know, liberally applying it, making sure I get the whole surface so it's all nice and glittery. And then what I did next was um, I sprayed it with the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist in, I don't know where it went. Where did it go? Oh, I used Yellow Daisy. And I like that one. Um, but I think, let's see, let's see. You want something kind of shimmery, but not so shimmery that it overpowers everything. Um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and do it again. I think I'm going to do it... You know, a couple squirts. And then what I did is I used alcohol. I don't know if this makes any difference or not, um, but I wanted to see what would happen. So I just, you know, sprayed it with, um, I think this is 90% alcohol. And while all of that is wet, I dry it. And this is where the magic happens. You dry it long enough that you see the bubbles come up and you don't squish the bubbles. You just let the bubbles happen. Okay, <clears throat> I 
I don't know if you can see those. I don't know if you saw it happen, but there you go. There are your bubbles. And yes, I flipped it over and I dried it from the backside um, just to make sure that the, the paper itself was dry because it, this between the gel medium and the uh, Glimmer Glam, it's it's sealed and these bubbles get really kind of stiff and as it really dries the bubbles will kind of hold their shape and they'll be stiff so that's a whole lot of fun and then um, once it has dried you can cut it down so that it's the right size of your card panel You could use your paper trimmer or rotary cutter or guillotine or whatever you got. I need a new blade on my paper trimmer, so I'm going with the scissors. So there's that one. And there's that one. And make sure you're working on a nonstick craft mat because the stuff will just peel right off. Or you can wipe it off or scrape it off or however you clean your craft mat. Um, I don't recommend doing it on, on a paper or anything like that because it will glue itself to your protective paper. So there's that. And then what you can do is, I just happen to have some card bases here. I'm just gonna glue it to a card base using my ATG. So when you're doing that, um, you wanna make sure that your tape or your glue is right along the edge of your panel so that all of your edges are sealed. And then I like a little extra just for good measure and line it up and set it down. like that and there you go that's with um, the a napkin and some uh, glimmer glaze or glimmer glam and some uh, glimmer mist and there you have a beautiful card and in some light all you get is the the sparkly texture and then if you turn the card just right then you actually see the image which is a lot of fun let me put this one on the card base show you what it looks like and then all you have to do is add a sentiment or any kind of extra embellishments and you have a card and it took you you know um 10 minutes maybe make sure it's turned the right way all right 
and there's that one. So I did those two for you and these are the two that I had made using the same napkin only I used the blue glimmer glaze, glimmer glam, whatever. Um, and now I have four cards in no time. So um, tell me what you think. Leave a comment. If there's something else you want to see, let me know. Uh, you can also check out my blog at bbsbutterfly.blogspot.com. You can check out my shop handmade store um, and I'll put that in that link in the description. Um, you can also check out my Facebook group. It's an open group. <clears throat> Come share your art. Um, join in in some swaps if you're interested. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.